what's happening out there guys it's real easy here and i'm back with another gta 5 online video in today's video i'm going to be showing you the only working duplication glitch out there all right um we don't really have many more money glitches going on the gift cards to friends i do believe is still working but nobody's using that as a money glitch all the car dupes those solo car dupes those are all done this is the only one we got and it's pretty easy so and it works for ps4 and xbox one so i'm gonna go over exactly what you need to do and what you need to have all right first of all shout out to the founders king alex and evil branch now what you're gonna need for this glitch is you need a facility you need a retro custom or whatever benny's vehicle you're duping in your facility you only need one in the facility and you're gonna see why you do not need custom plates for this you get fresh plates every single time you don't have to worry about dirty dupes whatsoever i recommend getting into a friends only session so that you can join back easily you're gonna see why and you're gonna need one friend to do this okay but it's mad easy in the beginning you only have to do once okay apart from that i recommend throwing a bunch of rh8s or fagios in your either in your facility or another 10 car garage six car garage whatever you want you just need it in another garage i don't recommend putting them in the clubhouse so just put them in a regular garage that you would put cars in and at the end of the you know of each dupe you need the moc with the personal vehicle storage to save the dupe not the weapon and vehicle workshop you need the personal vehicle storage in the MOC. That's why some of you are having problems driving in your MOC. Okay? So what you want to do is go ahead and go into your facility and invite your friend. All right? Invite your friend inside of the facility. You want to get into an Avenger or into your Avenger, I should say. Once you're in there, tell your friend to get in there as well. And he's going to be sitting in the passenger seat. Now, name of the game is you want to go ahead and press right on the D-pad, then back out of that menu, and then go ahead and hover over exit facility. Now, what you're going to be doing is you're actually going to be holding the pause button and then pressing A on Xbox or X on PlayStation a little bit like a little bit after you let go of the pause button. So you see, that's a fail. I actually just flew outside normally. So you just want to go right back inside. You press right D-pad to go inside and then you'll spawn in there. And then you want to have the same setup. You and your friend both get in the Avenger. Now, I'm going to say it again how you have to do this because a lot of people are probably going to have trouble. You only have to do this part once, all right? All of this part until your friend gets glitched in there needs to be done just one time, and that's it. You can keep duping while your friend just chills in the facility. So this is how you want to do it again. So get in there, right on the D-pad, you know, hover over exit facility. You want to hold down the pause button. So hold down start, and then while you're holding start, you let go. And then like literally a millisecond after you let go, you're hitting exit facility. So we're going to try it again. So we're both in there. I'm going to press B or circle right here. Hover over exit the facility. Hold pause. Let go of it. And then press A or X right after. Okay. So let go exit facility. All right. Let go pause exit facility. Like back to back really, really quick. And if you hit it, you will see just a fuzzy screen just like this. You see how it's just blurry. That means that you just hit it. Right now, your friend should be on an infinite black loading screen. All right, once your friend confirms he's on an infinite black loading screen, you're good to go. All you gotta do is quit the application. All right, so quit GTA completely, and then go ahead and sign back in. All right, well, not sign back in, just restart the GTA app, all right? Your friend will actually still stay on that infinite loading screen in that session. Now, remember how I said you wanna go ahead and do, an, uh, do this in a close friend session? That's so you can easily join back without having to worry about any invites or anything like that. Because on Xbox, invites can be really, you know, iffy, all right? So go ahead and join your friend back through, you know, the gamer card, whatever you gotta do. If your friend wants to send you an invite, he can do that as well, okay? But I recommend just joining back nice and easy. On Xbox, even if you're in an invite only, as long as you're in the same party, you can actually join your friend back without an invite. But like I said, to avoid complications, close friend session will be fine. You can join back as long as your friend is showing online, okay? And uh, it probably would have been best to set your spawn location to the facility so that you can spawn right in there as you see me doing. So I didn't mention that in the beginning, but that probably would make this go by a little bit quicker. So make sure your spawn location is set to the facility. When you go back to your Avenger, check it out. Your friend is still stuck inside of your Avenger in the passenger seat. What you're going to be doing is go ahead and press pause. You know, go to uh, Rockstar Creative Jobs, go to the contact missions, and just start up a Titan of a job. All right? Once you start up a Titan of a job, on Xbox, sometimes your friend will get an automatic alert. If he does, that's great. Just tell him to sit on that alert. If he doesn't, though, go ahead and just invite your friend to this game. Invite him through the party. Do what you got to do. PlayStation or Xbox is the same deal. Once your friend is sitting on that alert to join, you go ahead and quit out of the job. Once you're out of the job, you tell him to accept 
both alerts. He's going to accept the first alert. He's going to go up in the clouds. He's going to get an unable to connect alert. Tell him to accept that alert as well. He'll be he'll get shot right back down into the Avenger. And there you go. He has glitched out your facility. Your facility is good to go. What you need to go ahead and do now is go over to the yellow circle. You can tell him to actually run over and get ready to go ahead and get into the car you're going to be duping. So I have a few LG Retro Customs, so he's just going to go ahead and run over to one of them, to the passenger seat, and I'm just going to exit the facility, and we're still preparing to do this glitch, guys, but once, you do, once you've done all this preparation, which is, as you can see, I mean, we're five and a half minutes in the video, but the preparation only needs to be done once. You can keep duping. It takes maybe about a minute, minute and a half per car. All right, so go ahead and sign in as an MC president, I would recommend, because if you're using Fagios, you can just call them up. Now in this case, you see how I have a bike there? From an older glitch, I have a bike that was in a car slot and that can really screw with the garages. So I'm actually gonna override this bike. But what you would be overriding is say a Fagio or an RH8, you just need it on the map. So I'm gonna go ahead and request my MOC. If your MOC is ever grayed out like that and you can't request it, just get off the vehicle, okay? That's all you gotta do. So I'm gonna go ahead and go grab my MOC. Now the reason we're grabbing our MOC beforehand before we even dupe a car is because the MOC does not despawn when your friend is glitched in the facility. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set everything up. That's what this is. We're setting everything up so we can just dupe super, super quick, you know, from, you know, from car number one, okay? So you wanna go ahead and park your MOC to a point where you still got the blue circle. As you can see right here, I have the blue circle. I can leave my MOC right here and I still have a vehicle out on the map. Okay, remember, I still have that bike. I'm gonna be duping over that bike. You would be duping over an RHA, a Fagio, a Sanchez, whatever, just needs to be a vehicle. Now, as you can see right here, the vehicle just needs to be out on the map. Doesn't matter where it is. As long as it's out on the map, you're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and just enter my facility where my friend is still glitched out. Fast forward through this boring animation, and as I'm coming down the elevator, you should see your friend also coming down with you. That's one other reason or one other way that you know that your facility is still glitched, okay? So, as I told you before, have your friend waiting by the car that you guys are going to be duping and tell him to sit by the passenger seat. What you're going to do is go ahead and just hop in to the driver's seat. Now, once the car started, tell your friend to tap Y or triangle once and then hold it. You pop out of the car right before his butt touches the seat. If done correctly, he should slide right over to the driver's seat, okay? So once that happens, your friend is able to actually drive cars in your facility, all right? It's as simple as that, okay? Now, once you've done that, all you got to do is tell your friend to park the car in this little area to where the passenger side door and the driver's side door are actually blocked off so you can both teleport in and out of the vehicle. Once he's set up, go ahead and tell him to press wire triangle to teleport out. You teleport out and back in, and you should be able to go in and out of the driver's seat. Now check out the plate. VTE is in the middle, okay? So what you want to do now is go ahead and go to your yellow circle. You're going to hit A and Y at the same time on Xbox. That'd be X and triangle at the same time on PlayStation. You should see a flicker of you going into your car and then back over to exiting the facility. If done correctly, you will spawn outside with your vehicle and different plates. Okay, so you see that NKG 699, that was the plate from the actual bike. Believe it or not, bikes do have plates on them as well. Bicycles, you know, every vehicle in the game has plates. So I just overwrote that bike that I knew needed to be overwritten. I did not want that in any of my garages. So now I can go ahead and actually save this. And remember I said the MOC doesn't despawn. There it is, it's right there. So no need to request it and drive it a bunch of different places. Just press right D-pad and you know, drive it in there and that will save the vehicle. Doesn't matter if you have something else in there or not, it will not be overridden. It will just transfer from wherever the, you know, the vehicle that was outside was. Go ahead and just exit the facility. That car is, or exit the MOC. That car is 100% saved already, and you can go ahead and right before you go into your facility, like I said, you can either call up an RH8 through your mechanics list, or what's quicker is sign in as an MC president, and I'm using Sanchez's. I'm just going to call up a Sanchez, and you see it right there. It's out on the map. All I got to do now is go ahead and go back into the facility. Remember that your vehicle you're overriding just needs to be out on the map. And the Sanchez, you can't see a plate either, but trust me, those things have plates on them. Everything in the game has plates, even aircraft have plates, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and go back in. My friend is still glitched out in there, as you can see, coming down with me in the elevator. He's ready to go over by the next car. And remember I said you only need one Retro Custom or one Benny's vehicle? This is why, because that same one we duped goes right back in its spot. So you can keep duping the same one over and over again, and you get fresh plates every time does not need to be a car, you know, another car. Okay, so 
Go ahead and get in the vehicle. Your friend's going to tap Y and then hold Y. Right before his butt touches the seat, you pop out. He should slide right over to the driver's seat. Just like that, okay? You hop into the passenger seat and tell him to drive over to the same place we drove over before. And you just keep rinsing and repeating this, guys. This is all you got to do. Get glitched out in here with the car. You know, teleport in it, go outside, save the car, and then go back in or call up, you know, a vehicle outside to overwrite and then do the same thing over and over again. He teleports out, I teleport out and back in. Okay, just like that. I can go in and out of the driver's seat. There's the play VTE. I'm going to go ahead and go over to the yellow circle and do the same thing again. So you would just keep doing this little process over and over again. All right. A and Y at the same time, X and triangle at the same time. You spawn outside with the car and it's going to be your brand new dupe with brand new fresh plates. You go ahead and you drive this into the MOC, okay? So as you can see right here, brand new plates on there. I will show a close up here once we get closer to the MOC. But yeah, brand new plates right there as you can see. And then drive this into the MOC and save it. Go outside, call out another Sanchez, Faggy, or RHA to ride over. Go in there and do it again, okay? You can just keep doing this and doing this until your heart's desire, all right? This is a really good glitch. The beginning might take a little bit of time, but it's just the setup. Once you're done setting up, you're good to go, all right? So that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you understood the video and enjoyed it. My name is Roll Easy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel by pressing that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody. Road to 25,000 subscribers. I'm out of here.